Even though she's run high school track for years, it was a simple game of kickball that sidelined Brittany Sims. Brittany landed awkwardly while jumping over a ball and snapped the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, in her knee. I thought my legs were strong, and I thought that I didn't even know about an ACL, but I thought it was strong enough for me to jump like that, but it wasn't. It turns out that when it comes to knee injuries, strength may have little to do with it. Keep it going. Every year, an estimated 38,000 young women tear their ACLs in non-contact sports, a rate much higher than male athletes. That leads us to believe that there may be some differences between women and men in terms of their anatomy or their hormones or um, their neuromuscular control. To try and get to the bottom of it, Dr. Ajit Chowdhury of Ohio State University's Sports Medicine Center looked at one of the most basic differences between the sexes. Chowdhury tested women's knees at different stages during their menstrual cycles. Two earlier studies suggested a woman's hormones might explain why they're injured more often, but Chowdhury's study found that's not a factor. What we found in the study was actually that there were no differences between men and women in terms of the loads on their hip or their knee when they did various high-risk activities. By ruling out the menstrual cycle, researchers can focus their attention on other explanations, and they're doing so with a sense of urgency. When women tear their ACLs at an early age, they're much more likely to develop osteoarthritis. Some get it in their 20s, which means more than missing a season, it could mean dealing with decades of pain. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.